Hi guys, good morning. So I'm gonna head to Legree in a few minutes. I woke up a little later because I went to sleep like, I literally didn't go to sleep until like midnight or like 12.30. I usually go to the gym at like 5.30 or like 5.15, but I didn't want to run on like only four hours of sleep. So I decided to just go later. So I'm gonna go after Legree and also like do some walking outside because I don't want to do the full five miles in the gym. It's like the most boring thing ever. That's what I decided. I'm gonna get some fresh air today and i also wanted to show you guys like my workouts for the week it's pretty simple i kind of do the same thing but i also want to incorporate bunda back into my workout routine because bunda really helps i feel like shape my bum and also like tone my legs and that's what i really need so i'm gonna try to go on i don't know someday this week i need to figure out which day i can go and i might have to go a little earlier in the week than i anticipated so um, i'm just trying to upload a video right now to review but i have to leave in like 10 minutes it's actually so weird because i remember having a bad dream and i was crying so much in the dream but when i woke up i wasn't crying and usually when i have a dream where i'm crying i would wake up crying so i was kind of like oh that's so weird i just thought that that was very strange and i don't particularly remember what the dream was about i wish i did i'm gonna head to agree and i'll see you guys in a bit bye I'm home when I was out I already walked 5,000 steps so I just have to do 5,000 more and then 12 3 30 is usually like 2,000 steps it's a little less than a mile no it's a little less than two miles I just have to do that at the gym but I'm gonna go in like an hour because I really don't feel like going right now and I kind of wanted to eat something but I feel like I shouldn't so yeah I got back from Legree and I didn't burn that many calories today I felt like today was a pretty like mellow day even though we did legs I hate doing legs so much but I want to look over some stuff for my video and so i'll just do that for like an hour and a half and then go over my emails and then i'll go to the gym but right now i'm just like not in the mood and sometimes you have days that are like that where you just don't feel like getting in the gym and mine is like that whenever i don't go super early because i'm just like i hate being in the gym and like on the treadmill it's like not that fun i'm just gonna mellow out a little bit get my heart rate down and then after that go and finish up my workout for the day always gotta find time for the workout I went ahead and took a shower and then I just did my makeup and I did something very simple like my everyday routine although I just put a different concealer on just to kind of see if it would hide my dark circles a little bit better and I think that it does what do you guys think I did intend for it to be like a get ready with me kind of like makeup look but I ended up scratching all of that because as I was talking about the things that I was going through and how I felt in the moment, I realized it's not something that I really want on the internet and I feel like, wow, I'm really maturing <laughs> because although I love like chatting with you guys obviously and getting other people's opinions, I feel like sometimes you just say things just to be heard and I feel like I have these clips to look back on and see how I felt in the moment, but it's not necessarily that I wanted people to like and like give their opinion and what I was going through I think it's very similar to journaling where you would write stuff but you don't necessarily want someone to look through your journal and read everything that you're going through right so I think it's very similar in a sense which is why I decided to not put that clip in just know that like I go through things all the time and sometimes I might not talk about it and like my life is not like super perfect if you guys like see it on the internet or you guys see me with something like obviously it's just good things that I'm gonna post I just feel like I just feel so lost right now I didn't like want to get emotional it's like obviously I go through things too but I'm not gonna like post the bad stuff or like how I feel about things like sometimes I will because I love talking to you guys and relating in that sense but I feel like it's such a negative way to relate to someone right let's just try to keep it positive and good vibes only honestly I think the main stressor lately is just whether or not like New York is right for me because obviously I've lived in LA my whole life I love LA and it's like my home my whole family is here everything like 
I sometimes just wonder if like I'm making the right decision and I got pre-approved for the apartments that I was looking at not necessarily in the city like more in the outskirts I told you guys that I wanted to live on the outskirts of New York City and that's if I decide to not live in the city and find something like within the first week or two that I end up going for my move I think like this is just like a big decision and I immediately like jumped to it and I was really excited because things were good and I just kind of don't know if it's like the best thing for me to do granted I feel like my life would kind of like be the same I just wouldn't have like a city obviously like city vibe like I do in downtown someone had made a comment like oh cost of living in new york is like super expensive or whatever and honestly i don't see it as like much of a difference like my rent is comparable to some people who live in new york i said the cost of my rent multiple times i feel like that's pretty standard of uh, food i'm one person so i obviously like cook for myself and i go out to eat i order food whenever i want like i can't imagine that like sweet green here is different than sweet green in the city like I, I feel like they're very similar in price what else joe and the juice is exactly the same like i just don't like i don't understand what people mean when they say like the oh, cost of living is like more expensive like is living on your own in LA like any different in LA you have to have a car and if you don't you're ubering and that's like so much money so much money that you're wasting and the distance is even further I don't know I feel like people try to like compete like oh New York is more expensive like living is more expensive but like get off your high horse it's the same thing anyway I don't know I'm just having like thoughts this morning I'm like realizing things maybe I just like shouldn't think too hard and just like carry on with life and like whatever I do want to give an update on my savings. I ended up saving a little bit more. So I will do a roundup at the end of the saving month, which for me is September 15th to October 15th. So that's going to be like the roundup for savings because that's my statement for my checking account. My high yield savings obviously has its own funds and everything for emergency funds. And that's what I use when... I feel like splurging sometimes but generally that doesn't really get touched unless somebody needs something from me and I also have like Jazzy's Quinta dress that I have to pay for so that's gonna come out of there but if I wasn't saving to show in my checking then I would obviously everything would be going to my high yield yeah I feel like it's a very like weird method that I'm doing this I feel like I should just put everything in my high yield savings and then just show them that they also stated like they wanted to see more and like another account i guess just to kind of have like a cushion if like one got closed for some reason or something i don't know like what the deal with if that was but i was told to make sure that i had another account with money in there anyway those are pretty much my thoughts this morning <laughs> and i am so hungry now so i want to make something to eat i'm also having my hot water with lemon i ran out of lemon juice this morning so i should probably order more as well before i do that i want to show you guys a mini haul so you guys know i love my hot toddy gloss well you can literally see through it like i don't know if you can actually see right now but you can see through it so of course i had to purchase another one i got it on ulta for full price because we're not having a sale on it i usually get them on sale but i did not get it on sale this time and they changed they changed the lettering so i hope the formula didn't change that much oh this change too is definitely different i like the old font better it was like super flirty and like cute oh so i guess buxom got bought out from shiseido so that's why they had to put it on there interesting so anyway i purchased the gloss and then i told you guys that lancome was on sale with ulta with their Genifique line so I purchased this one just as a backup for my serum because I'm running out of my Kiehl's dark spot correcting serum and I saw that this was like brightening and anti-aging so I wanted to try this out it'll give me a reasonable amount of time to try it out and kind of get my thoughts together on this product especially because it's very pricey so I want to make sure that it's worth it before anyone else purchases it or like you know if I in case I want to purchase it again so I want to like gather my thoughts on this and then i also purchased this for jazzy it's a brush set from it cosmetics with ulta and it has like a big fluffy brush a foundation brush or like a powder brush a little like concealer brush eye brushes stuff like that so it's a very great starter set and can you guys see that so it's a great starter set for her she's 
still only 14 so but she is doing her makeup so i just wanted her to have like better brushes so i know i got these little webcam covers on amazon so i'll link them down below in case you guys are interested as well i used to have one on there and randomly it just was not there anymore so i was like what that's so weird i don't use my webcam ever but always nice to have those and then imani actually told me to give this book a read it's called fast like a girl i was just telling you guys about that like not too long ago but it basically tells you good foods that are great for you like depending on your cycle for your period and when you should fast the benefits of it just everything it goes into detail yeah your body is such a sacred sanctuary so it's very important to take care of it and i think this book will be perfect for me to give that a read i've never really been into like gut health and all that stuff and like i kind of just would do things temporarily to try to heal my gut or like be able to go to the bathroom or something or if i felt like my skin was purging i knew it was because i had to purge my gut or like do some sort of cleanse so I think it'd be really beneficial for me to read that book in order to stop doing that because I feel like purging is like not healthy either. So really excited to give that a read. But anyway, let's go see what I have in my fridge because I, I have no idea. This is what my fridge is looking like. You guys, I, okay, I realize I don't like Poppy. I am an Olipop girl through and through. First of all, they're cuter. Second of all, I feel like it works better for me if you know what I'm saying. And then up there, let's do a fridge tour. A little mini fridge tour. Well, just beverages, okay? Because everything else is messy. I have my Vita Coco. That's really good for every day. Alani. I actually stopped drinking those, which is why they're still in stock in my fridge. I kind of like I'm not really into it anymore. But I think I'll start drinking them just to like get rid of them. But maybe not my favorite. I kind of want to go back to Celsius or like a different energy drink or something. I don't know. And then Fairlife, I love this one. But they actually have a 43 grams of protein one, which is insane. So I want to pick that one up instead of this one because it's like twice as many, almost twice as many. And it still is the chocolate flavor. So that's like my favorite one because it tastes like chocolate milk. I usually have like half of it after Bunda or Legree in the morning because I don't usually fast and I always need something after. But I really like that. And then Harmless Harvest, it's okay. I don't like, it's not my favorite coconut water because it reminds me of the coconut water that I drank when I was little. And like the little kupong, like the little... A little can and then you gotta like take off the top and like you take the straw and you would just like beat the crap out of the <laughs> out of the coconut because it would be frozen right anyway i digress but that's what it reminds me of it tastes a lot like thai coconut juice and then ph water i used to drink this a lot like when i first moved into my apartment but then i didn't know where to find it but then i found them again so they're at costco and then for my olipops i have lemon lime ginger ale cream soda strawberry vanilla and tropical punch so if we're going in order i love cream soda so much that's like one of my favorites strawberry vanilla is really good i also really like ginger ale and then these two are just great to like drink when i'm feeling like i want a sprite or something not that i ever crave a sprite but i just remember that the flavor was at sweet green and then i saw that they were at target so i just picked those up then in here i have like some chobani it's like really messy i have an extra cream soda down there some tofu chopped onions that i chopped more tofu eggs that i need to put in the egg container yeah i just like and then i have like bok choy and carrots in there nothing crazy honestly my fridge is like pretty boring i feel like and then if we want to get up here <laughs> this is like kind of and then up here we have some skincare stuff that i never use actually my green onion that i use for green onion oil some alcohol i just got this from gelson's spicy chicken spicy chicken breast and then i have the better bagel stuff some frozen berries carne asada from trader joe's some lemon slices frozen grapes the buns i keep my bread in the freezer and then also some bread here i have a trader joe's dumpling thing and then here i have some ground beef from costco I don't typically like having my meats like frozen, but I just placed like a huge Costco order recently, so I just got those as well. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna put this water back in the fridge because I didn't end up drinking it.
This is my dinner. I'm having bok choy with honey ginger chicken, also with some jasmine rice and a cream soda olipop. These are my favorite. I love olipop so much, you guys know that. But yeah, this is a really good flavor if you guys want to try something new. And I'm gonna add a little bit of furukake on my rice. I need to open it this way. I love my new like little spice jars. I'll have these linked down below, but they make me so happy when I cook. <laughs> it's just so pretty. Anyway, I'm gonna have this. I'm gonna finish up Sex in the City. I think I'm on like the last episode or something, but it's been dragging. This is the last one of the whole entire series. And then after that, I think it's the movies, but yeah. So excited to have my dinner. It's four o'clock, but like I told you guys that I, I work on Eastern time. So for me, technically it's like seven. Well, I wake up at five and then I go to the gym and everything and then I'm done and then I'll start taking calls and all that. My days are super, super long. So it's very, very frustrating like for me to like find time to eat and all that. But I try to eat in a timely manner or at least whatever works for me. But yeah, this is my dinner. Hi guys, I just woke up from a nap. I got a Hagen dazs This is the chocolate cover for the almonds. I was just craving it. I dreamt about it, which is like, how fatty of me. <laughs> but I just got one and I took a nap because I was getting a little bit of a headache. I decided to just take a little break um, and then I laid down and I ended up napping for like two hours. So that's how my night is going. My flowers are still so gorgeous. They're kind of dying a little bit, which I'm really sad about. These are like bloomed because they're like facing the sun. My to-do list for tonight is to finish like the fourth paragraph of my essay. I have like six or seven. I'm going to figure out reservations and stuff and then get some work done. I'll follow up with you guys because <laughs> I'm still like waking up right now. And it's bad because it's, at, it's eight right now. I have to wake up at five. But I just have to go to bed like I can go to bed like at 11 30 and I'll be fine I'll get like six hours of sleep I'll wake up at 5 30. I don't know. We'll see I'll see you guys in a bit. Bye. Hi guys. So I'm just snacking on corn right now And this is like the only way that I can eat it like I can't eat it any other way Because I hate biting in it and obviously initially like you have to bite into it, right? But for the rest of the parts I have to eat it like this. I don't know why I just hate when like things get stuck in my teeth and it's like my pet peeve. Also like for elote, I have to eat it like esquite style. Like I can't eat, I hate eating it like corn on the cob style. In my most recent video with my little brother's baptism, I did eat it like that because I had no choice. This way is just way better. Nothing gets stuck in your teeth. It's easy, clean. I'd rather eat plain than with butter and all that stuff. But yeah, I'm gonna buy more corn tomorrow. I have like a lot of anxiety right now over like what I should get at Goyard. And obviously by the time this vlog is up, it's I would have already gone. So that's like not a big deal. Well, it's a big deal now because I'm like present time, obviously. I feel like kind of anxious and I don't know like what to get. Or I have a few things on my list, but I don't know. I just feel like nervous. Like I don't know why. A few things I would tell you guys on GPM or GM. I'm kind of like looking at those. The Isabel bag. Also looking at that. Also looking at Artois I'm not too hot about to be honest. Neither the St. Louis. So I'm kind of like not even considering those. Those are like basically the only two things that I'm really looking. And then maybe like a mini Anjou. In case like I decide not to get like a big tote. But like that's stupid because I really really need a big tote. That's what I'm choosing over. And then for toilet shoe bags. I kind of want like the thin one for like my iPad. Or maybe one for like a catch-all or something. It's so funny I went from one travel brand or one brand known for traveling and their luggages to another one but i love goyard so much so that's like kind of what's on my list i'm gonna curate my wish list so i have the anjou pm or gm the isabel bag that one kind of looks a little funky to me that's very like you either like it or you don't and i know a lot of people won't like it so for pouches they actually have the conti pouch and it's really cute it's kind of just a reinforced at the corners at the bottom and it kind of like tapers up similar to the cosmetic pouch from louis vuitton except it's more like a squared shape i'll leave a screenshot of everything that i'm curious about like that i'm interested in on the screen and then also they yeah, have a Vendome cosmetic pouch, which is one of their classics. It doesn't have leather reinforced at the top, but it has a zipper that kind of curves. So that one, I think a fun color would be like 
yellow or orange like i would get something in a in a more bright color but it has to be a smaller piece like i'm not gonna get like yellow bag or like an orange bag it's just not my style i know i won't get a lot of use out of it but i think the sky blue one and obviously this is based on what they have in stock or i will have to wait for them to order it they can basically order anything from france they don't have it in stock but most people like to see what they have in stock right then and there because it will take a little bit of time to get to you like maybe two weeks or so the vendome pouch i do really love for like makeup or just quick little travel bag or you can even just grab it like grab it on the go and it can just be like a little pouch that you use to like go to lunch or something like if i'm in new york i would just like grab this and like go to lunch so that is really cute i love it in red orange or yellow I would get it in one of those colors because it's so bright and obnoxious and it's just different or sky blue is cute too okay so that's the second one the third one is the bowling 25 toiletry bag this one is actually really cute it kind of it kind of clips at the end and you can also unclip it to make it wider this is really cute i really like this i feel like navy is a little too close to black for slgs so i kind of would prefer something brighter something more something that stands out a little bit more the green is gorgeous in this oh my gosh i love the green i love the green that is so good yellow looks nice too like when you look at the structure of these bags there are certain colors that really go with it oh red is nice too red is nice for this maroon is also or burgundy they call it it's really nice i feel like there are only there are only, there are certain bags that look good with certain colors okay so then we have the gm toiletry bag we also have an mm toiletry bag which is just obviously smaller in size oh these are so cute these are so cute i'm for sure oh what toiletry bag do you guys think <laughs> this is the only thing getting me through the week right now so it's like midweek hump hump day and <laughs> i just i need to need to get through this and then also i'm going to vegas the first weekend of october for a reggae concert i just got the news like monday or tuesday so actually yesterday so i decided to hold off on going to chanel until then just because obviously the tax is cheaper i feel like vegas is a very touristy area and there are a handful of chanel's there so i feel like they might have the size that i want and the item i'm looking for i already told you guys but i also want to look at like other things obviously and i feel like vegas just might have more selection and obviously if they don't i will come back home and get it here and then go ahead and film my unboxings and have all that video all those videos ready for you guys before i leave to new york because it's gonna be my aunt's birthday so i'm anticipating going then but i'm not even sure if like i'm not even sure if i really want to go to new york to be honest i'm kind of like over it but i do want to experience christmas there and i think it's just because i have to save a ton and i'm doing really well with my savings like i said i think i have like 5500 in savings and like I said, I'm doing like the 15th to the 15th, so I'm just trying to make sure I have like everything in order. I just feel like my head's gonna explode from like thinking about like stressing about like saving for this move. Just because I don't want to have to budget in any area in terms of like movers and stuff, I feel like that's the worst that you can possibly do. Just because they're obviously gonna have all your things in their possession i don't have a ton of luxury bags so i think that's good i'll probably end up purchasing like a bigger suitcase for me to put all those things in because i don't trust anybody with it but i do have like my golf clubs that i want to take i do have my bed i want to take the planter and it's just like i just want to make sure that all of my things can get there in one piece i already looked at the apartment that i'm looking at and all well, the square footage and everything so and then jazzy's quinta dress is like a million dollars oh my god and there is no filming in goyard so i don't even want to hear it i don't want to hear you guys are gonna be like oh jenny's not filming in goyard because blah, 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 x y and z no no you cannot the security will run up to you and be like uh oh, put your phone away put your phone away like they are security guard is like on some sort of like power trip there that's what's on my list <laughs> this is the only thing getting me through the weekend or the week and then i got a question on like whether or not my family called me on my birthday one of my aunts wished me happy birthday my cousins did and then my 
aunt also did from that side nobody from my dad's side of the family wished me a happy birthday which i was kind of like oh okay <laughs> i've always been like super like oh happy birthday like whatever like super cool and stuff and i just feel like i don't know i feel like when it came to my birthday like no one acknowledged it or like said happy birthday and like it's such like a shitty feeling because i don't want to like be emotional or like speculate like why because i think that's kind of like bratty but i'm going to no I'm just kidding <laughs> but i just feel like that's so like fucked up like like when I, when they posted things like for their birthdays and stuff i was always like oh my god happy birthday like you know saying like really nice things and you obviously can't expect people to be the same way that you are or expect them to react a certain way to you know news in your life and stuff like that but it's just it's a sucky feeling like you obviously want your family to be there for you and these are my girl cousins that i grew up close in age with so that even that's like even more kind of like okay i feel like i've always been like left out on like that side of the family but whatever so they didn't wish me a happy birthday my biological mom didn't wish me a happy birthday one of my brothers didn't my uncle didn't my aunt didn't one of my aunts everyone on my adopted mom's side of the family and like i'm taking notes okay i'm taking notes it's such like a simple thing you don't think that you don't think that like oh just saying like happy birthday is like that big of a deal because you think like oh, okay yeah whatever like you know so many people are probably already telling her but honestly like i feel like this year because it finally hit me that I'm getting older because I like did Botox and I want like other treatments done and it's really dawning on me that I am getting older and like I really need to figure out my life I think it just meant a little more this year so I think that's why it kind of hurts a little bit more you live and you learn and yeah I'm just kind of like it just it sucks but whatever like what can I do I'm gonna like I'm not gonna cry about it. I made a reservation to this restaurant that I love and it's so good. That's like Friday night. You guys will probably see this. I don't know when, honestly. But I'm trying to edit everything in a timely manner. So hopefully. Oh my gosh, you guys. I saw the most adorable Zimmerman boots. Like brown boots. I've been on a hunt for brown boots. So if you guys can give me any tips or like where to get them also stuart weitzman does not have brown boots this season like they're not cute i don't like them i don't want like over the knee boots i want them to hit like right under the knee but they're all sold out they were like 700 bucks and i was just like yeah fine i'll get them because they look so good in the in the photo but <laughs> they didn't have my size just my luck just my luck someone had commented oh you have internalized racism or something and i was like what the hell and then they were saying oh you all you date is white boys like the last guy i dated was a pakistani so and a few guys before him were also like south asian or asian or like middle eastern i think because pakistan used to be a part of india so i feel like it's asia but some people said it's middle eastern historically it's asia but <laughs> present day it's middle eastern considered middle eastern anyway i hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog i feel like it, i was a little bit too chatty and like talking to you guys so maybe this will be its own vlog we're just gonna make it its own vlog because it's kind of a long chatty video obviously so i hope you guys enjoyed the vlog let me know your thoughts on my goyard pieces that i'm interested in down below and what you think i should get obviously i would have already gotten my pieces but still just leave your suggestions down below although i have been eyeing the chanel sling bags i really have been considering manolo blonic so i feel like it's between like those two and manolo's i obviously can't wear them every day like i would be able to wear my sling bags like cost per wear but you guys know like the way i dress i feel like I would get a lot of use out of my manolos so i don't know i'm kind of like torn in between but maybe i should be like more practical let me know that as well obviously i have like a few more weeks until i go to vegas so i'm very excited for that but yeah i feel a little like bloated right now because i think i'm gonna get my period like next week but anyway i love you guys so much i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog i miss talking to you guys and although I see like rude comments or people saying like, oh my god, Jenny's so cringe, like why does she still film or like her videos are so lame and all that stuff, I feel like it's just a part of growth and obviously like this is my present day life, like I'm not gonna like pretend to do stuff and go out and like be crazy or like get things done just for views, like it's just not how I am. If you guys still watch me, then thanks. If not, like, that's cool too. If you guys are just gonna, like, watch me and, like, talk your shit, that's fine too. Because hopefully people <laughs> will, like, view it. So that's pretty much all I have to say. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog once again. I will see you guys in my next video. I'm not eating anything after this, after the corn, because that kind of made me full. And I think corn is really good in fiber. I don't even know the nutritional facts about corn. But anyway, <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later. Good night. Bye. Okay, hi guys, good morning. The time is 5.43. I woke up at 5.30 this morning. And...
and I'm gonna head to the gym. I guess I'm not running because this is going on. I wanted to wear my sports bra for Legree and I have Legree at eight. So I don't wanna wear it like now because then obviously it's gonna get like sweaty and everything already. So I'm saving that for later. So I just went ahead and put on my line top. This one is a size six, but it's still kind of like protruding. Whatever, it's fine. Um, let's get some water. I love my almond Geary water bottle. It's so like niche, I feel like. I don't really have ice. And someone told me to use an ice maker in the fridge, but I need to call them to change the filter because I don't know when the last time it was changed. And I've never used it since I lived here. I don't have time for warm lemon water. So I'll probably have it after, but I'm just having I'm just gonna drink water with that. Obviously while I'm working out. Just freeze the slices. I have a bunch of shit to get done today. So let's try and do that because if not, I'm gonna be so behind and I can't do that. But anyway, eyes on the prize. Go yard, eyes on the prize. Okay, so it's officially 5.45. Oops. Okay, it's officially 5.44. So I'm gonna go to the gym, bye. Hi guys, I just got back from the gym. I didn't do 12 to 30 because I feel like I'm getting my period soon. So I kind of feel like a little weaker than usual. So I didn't want to overexert myself, especially because I have Legree later. It's pretty like low, low intensity, but like high impact. So it's totally fine if I go to that, but I'm gonna go ahead and clean up a little bit just so it can be clean when I get back. And I did 12 through 30 for like 15 minutes. Well, 12 through 30 basically means like for 30 minutes, right? I did it for 15 and that was it. And then like I couldn't do it anymore. So very weird. Like I've never, usually when I'm on my period, I can still do it. But for some reason, I just like did not feel good. So I'm going to put some dishes away really quickly. Just some chores. You guys are going to get a day in my life. So it's going to be pretty self-explanatory. Everything is put away. It's clean. Actually, it's not clean. I need to get rid of the water, the water grime. I don't know how to. For my after gym, like post meal, not really meal, cause I'm not, it's not like a full meal, but I'm gonna have um, some of the Fairlife shake, but I need to measure it out. I usually like to have half of one after the gym. Seven fluid ounce. It's like 7.07, so it's fine. Ugh. I just got changed. I'm washing my sheets right now, and it's already 7.41, which means I have to head out soon. I'm like not in the mood right now. I don't know, that's how I know I'm getting my period because I just like, everything just like pisses me off and like makes me cranky. But we have Go Yard in like two days, so. <laughs> I'm telling you guys when I say this is the only thing keeping me going, this is actually the only thing keeping me going. I'm not too hungry right now because I already had like my protein drink, but I'm gonna go ahead and head out now. Or else I'm just like not gonna go. I'm gonna end up canceling and I don't wanna do that. So yeah, let's head to Legree. Hi guys, I just got back from Legree and I put like my other sheets in the wash. I'm so exhausted right now, but my skin actually looks so good. Like my dark spots are finally fading. Everything looks nice and clear, except for my dark circles. <laughs> Those are never going away. But anyway, I just spent like the last 30 minutes looking for my AirPods because I couldn't find them. And I thought Luna like ate them or something. <laughs> Sorry, Luna. But yeah, I'm just gonna take a shower and then I have to study today. So I feel like I said that last week and then I literally didn't do anything until last minute But this time I literally don't have time like I have to do it today. I said that last week as well <laughs> I will get everything done today. I've been <laughs> I'm literally gonna spend all day all night if I have to but I have to get this done And I'm so sad because my flowers are dying. Yeah, I don't know what to eat yet I actually made food yesterday, so I might just have leftovers and eat that because it was actually so yum I probably just need to make a little bit more rice but yeah, I feel good after Legree. I burned 
I don't know how many calories. Let's see. Um, I burned 184 today for Legree. That's like not, Legree is not like your heart rate goes up, but it's not as, it doesn't go up as much of a spike as Bunda probably does because you're doing like HIIT training. So yeah, it's a little bit different, but I still love Bunda. I just haven't been in a while just because it's so far. It's in Santa Monica and I'm literally on the other side of town. This girl has like the zoomies. So I'm going to go take a shower, let her go outside, and then I'll be back to talk to you guys. I got out of the shower and I did a little blowout on my hair, just something like really light just because I don't want to wash my hair until Saturday morning just because I have a lot to do that day and then I want like a fresh scalp. I don't really like feel the need to wash it today or tomorrow, but yeah, so I just have a little flip going on there and then I'm going to have my, I'm going to have my leftover Food that I made yesterday so it's just bok choy with honey ginger chicken with a little bit of rice I do wish I had a little bit more rice because this was kind of salty but it's fine and I don't feel like making anymore I decided to not do any makeup today just because I want to focus on studying and I don't really care for having makeup on my face I just really need to get this done and I will probably see you guys like when it's nighttime like no joke because it's gonna take me a few hours to get this done hopefully only like three to four so it's 10 a.m right now hopefully i get it done uh, work is pretty light these days just because my boss is in dc so he's not in new york at the moment which is which is okay for me but yeah this is just what my skin is looking like i don't know nothing crazy i didn't really want to do any makeup just because i want to focus on studying and i don't want to like waste time doing that just because like i don't really care but it should take me like three to four hours hopefully less or maybe a little bit more maybe a little less i don't know but still doing laundry luna's on my bed okay let's take this out not too much no not too much i'm gonna eat this get some nutrition in i probably should have warmed it up like a different way but i don't plan on getting a microwave either when i move if i don't have one i never used one in malibu like i don't know how i cooked my food i don't remember yeah i never used a microwave so I don't really care for one when I move. Also, I have to start getting rid of some things because literally it's gonna be October, you guys, and then I have and then I have three months until my move. Like how fast is time going? It was literally just August. I feel like time is moving by so fast. I'm actually gonna go crazy. But anyway, this is my meal for breakfast. It's kind of a heavy breakfast now. Anyway, I'm gonna eat this and then I'll see you guys in a bit. Hi guys, we're taking a break from my essay to eat, of course, because you have to nourish your body. So I'm making a spicy chicken sandwich. I'm just gonna put mayo, and the bread is 160 calories for the both of the buns. The mayo is probably the most calories, to be honest. <laughs> I'm just gonna spread it. And I prefer Japanese mayo just because, I don't know, I think it tastes better. I can't really eat American mayo the way that I used to when I was little. It's just like not my favorite. So just spread it like that. And the bun is Killer's Dave's Killer Bread. Put the sandwich ones. And then just take some lettuce. I like butter, lettuce, whatever you want. I just air fried the chicken. And I'm gonna add some ketchup on this, but let me show you guys which one I use. So this is from Applegate Naturals. And I think the bag was like $17 from Gelson's. So yeah, I'm pretty sure that's how much it was. You can obviously like make your own or whatever, but I don't know how, so I just, I just used that one. This is my spicy chicken sandwich and I'm just having it with coconut water and then I'm gonna be able to watch a few YouTube videos right now but then after I will get right back into studying so wish me luck. Hi guys we are in my glasses now and I didn't really have anything to eat after my chicken sandwich but I'm feeling a little bit hungry but it is already 9. I actually thought it was past midnight because I have my computer set to eastern time just for work and I'm trying to like gauge how much sleep I can get tonight just because I do have a workout in the morning I didn't cancel it in time because I thought that I was already late to cancel it because of the freaking time that I was like looking at so I got my times mixed up but anyway I'm gonna try to work on this for another hour or two 
and then head to bed and then work on it in the morning just because the morning time i will have some time i think i have until like three two or three to finish it so it's not bad i have an early dinner at niku i need to like get ready for that and everything pretty early on so i might do my makeup earlier than usual yeah i don't anticipate having a lot of time tomorrow and then saturday i actually I might have to head up to my mom's house so that's my plan but i wanted to film my unboxing on saturday just so i could take my handbag but i don't know like i don't know if i'll be able to do that or if i'll have time i have to talk to my mom because she might want me there on saturday instead of sunday morning i haven't been keeping up vlogs that are like less than 3,000 views just because i don't know i just like a weird number like two point something but i'm trying my best to be consistent so i hope that you guys enjoy them yeah i'm super excited for my savings period to end which is weird because it's actually only been like seven days since it's been the 15th so i feel like I, I definitely underestimated myself, but I'm happy. I'm gonna close out the vlog now just because I'm gonna probably... I don't even know what I have to snack on. Like shrimp chips, but it's... I feel like I shouldn't eat that right now. I'll probably just eat a banana and then I will get to work. So, that's all. I'll see you guys in a... I thought Luna was behind me. I'll see you guys in my next vlog. Hopefully my unboxing, which I'm so excited about. Hopefully you guys left me suggestions on my last video. So, yeah. Bye.